Meantime, rates of cancer diagnoses rising among really young Americans. That's according to a new government-funded study just published, and it found that women in their 30s drove that increase uh, by a large majority. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, looking at all of this. I was just so surprised that it was women so young. Morning. Morning. Yeah, this this is a bit of a, a warning call. Uh, I think we have to look at this data and and read into it and understand what's what's going on here. If someone is diagnosed under the age of fifty, that's considered early onset cancer, uh, early onset diagnosis. What they were trying to figure out is how much has this changed over the last ten years or so? What are we seeing? Are we seeing more of these cases being diagnosed in younger people? And the answer, just like you said, is yes. It's primarily people in their thirties that are driving that increase, and primarily women. Let me just show you uh, per hundred thousand back in two thousand ten, had about a hundred cases diagnosed in that age group. Go fast forward ten years, roughly, and it's closer to hundred and three. So it's about a three percent increase over that ten years. Doesn't sound like a lot. But if you start to extrapolate and, and fast forward even further into the future, the concern is that those numbers will continue to balloon. Uh, but again, it, it, is, it is primarily women. So men did not have the same increase, and you did not see that same increase in people over the age of 50 as well. So Sanjay, the obvious question here is why? Do we know what's accounting for the increase? We're not sure, and this is a this is a, a topic of, of significant debate right now within the oncology community, trying trying to decipher these numbers. First of all, we do know what the types of cancers are that were sort of driving the increase: uh, breast cancer, for example, um, thyroid cancer, and colon cancer. Those are the three that were sort of driving it. There are some others uh, on the list as well, but th those are the primary three. You know, it, it could be a combination of a couple things, really. One is that we are better at screening for these cancers than we were even 10, 20 years ago. So we may be simply catching more cancers. That could be part of it, but talking to oncologists, they don't think that accounts for everything. The other, the other thing is that probably at the age now where people are in their 30s, there's a significant, a higher percentage of people who are obese than there were you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago. Uh, we know when people are taking in lots of glucose, developing lots of insulin as a result, uh, in addition to creating fat in the bodies, that can also fuel cancers. So that could also be part of it, just the general unhealth. But those are, those are sort of the, the, the top sort of two ideas. Again, it's, it's a subject of debate. A lot of people want to figure it out, obviously, to try and bring these numbers down. How can we, can we keep it from becoming a bigger problem, Sanjay? Well, you know, I think one of the things is we still know that there's a utility in, in screening tests. Um, you know, uh, it was a, about a month ago that we did a report talking about colon cancer rates going up among young people specifically. Uh, screenings can help, <clears throat> obviously not talking about people in their 30s, but once you get into your uh, 40s, you know, if, you, if you're talking about mammography or colon cancer screening, there are specific recommendations there in terms of when to get those screenings. Mammography really starting at age 45, unless you have a family history, and then 55 years getting it yearly or every other year. And for colon cancer screenings, uh, beginning those screenings again at 45 as well. Um, I, I think that the larger issue here, though, again, is, is looking at the general health. If it is true, and it seems to be that the same things that are driving obesity could also be driving cancer rates, fueling the body, mm -hmm. fueling these cancers at the same time, mm -hmm. we have to address that. Uh, there's just a higher percentage of people who are obese now than there were, you know, when I was in that age. I'm, I'm over 50 now, and you know, I, I don't think you guys are. But you know, we do find that people over the age of 50, their cancer rates have stayed relatively flat. So there might be some information in there as well as to what to do in the future.